Good morning. Welcome to Wheels in the Wilderness. I'm Aislinn and David's behind the camera. So today we are on the Bobby Woodsman and Sugar River Rail Trails. Um, this is a uh, two rail trails that connect up together. One of them is accessible for like ATVs and such like that and I don't believe that the other one is. But this is a really long trail today. It's 11 miles and we're not sure if the new battery is up to that, but we're going to see. So why don't you come along with us as we explore this new rail trail. Thank you. 
on this rail trail are benches or picnic tables, some place to, to pull over. But we found a log and so that gives David a, a little bit of a place to sit. So we decided to stop here next to the river and have some lunch. So we'll be back in a little bit. My seat. Well, we're done with our lunch and back on the road. It is such a beautiful day. tootling down the road back there and we came to a wide area and somebody apparently had done donuts and had dug ruts parallel to or not parallel to the across the direction of traffic flow and so when she hit those at full speed it bumped her around quite a bit so Normally, normally, most of the ATV and motorcycle riders that we come across have been extremely polite. One or two have been just okay, but I mean, there have been people that have just come to a full stop and waited for us to pass or slowed down to a crawl so that they didn't spray dust on us while we were eating our lunch. So most of them are good folk, but... If you're an ATVer and you're watching this, we're not saying you're bad people, but keep things like that in mind. You know, what you do to the trail affects everybody that comes along behind you. So keep being the good people and maybe not so much of the careless people. still at seven bars we've gone 12 miles, 12 miles which we don't know what that means because the last batteries they would drop down to six and then they would plummet yeah. 
we don't know if that's going to happen here. But the last four miles have been at seven bars. At seven bars. So, I think what we should do, because this is the end of the trail, yep. turn, around, turn around, go back, and at each bug out point, we'll evaluate and keep going. Yep. Hopefully, if nothing else, if we can get all the way to the main highway, it's just a little ways down the road for me to go get the van and come get you. adventure. I ended up doing 15.1 miles and ended on one blinking bar. So I used up all the battery. But that's much better than the batteries that we just replaced. So still not as good as we had hoped to get from these. Yeah, but better better than it was. So that's a good thing. Um the trail while it is not, I, I wouldn't bring a manual wheelchair through. Um, in some sections you could, but it might be a bit rough. Um, if you have a mobility scooter, you're gonna be fine. Uh, stroller, we talked to uh, a couple of ladies that had a stroller and they said it was rough going. So the wider your tire, the better. Um, we have run into quite a few ATVers. And on the whole, they have been polite and kind. Uh, everybody that we've seen yeah, has been polite and seen. kind. Has, and uh, so, except for that one section where the someone was doing donuts they haven't even torn the trail up that much so that's a good thing um, if we have to share then we need to be mindful of those coming along behind us so um, overall I love this trail it's beautiful um, it could stand to have a few benches maybe a picnic table or two but uh, for the most part it's been quiet and peaceful and and just a lovely ride so thank you for coming along with us. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, and as always, remember to chase your dreams, challenge your limits, and choose joy.